Okey baik. Terima kasih Cik Rashid. So itu analisa untuk pair GJ ya. Eh. So rasa tahun ni tak macam tahun 2019 kot yang GJ apa P pair XSX JPY semua yang turun mendadak tu. Eh yeah, because initially market was uh, looking at <coughs> Uh, that kind of move might happen but yeah. uh, that uh, signal ataupun there's no uh, apa kata news yang uh, ni, there's one news that potentially can give that uh, JPY pass strength tapi uh, somehow Russia Ukraine it, it, it's not get not getting out of control it's still orang kata uh, contain uh, we are seeing Joe Biden and uh, Putin also having a, uh, not to say regular, but I think uh, yesterday or two days ago, they also had a phone call. Uh, they talk about, I think about two or three weeks ago, uh, both had a, some kind of a diplomatic uh, gentleman agreement. Okay. So it's not getting out of control yet. Okay. And also we didn't see uh, uh, too much correction on uh, equity at the stock market everybody is uh, pushing higher but now since the year has ended and everybody uh, will be showing a good uh, records in their books uh, they already hit uh what snp i think about hit 68 or 69 times uh, new high in the last 20 uh, last year 2021 so it's a good thing for people to brag brag about their achievement or even, even uh, I think Apple from 1 trillion went to 2 trillion. I think they are almost reaching 3 trillion uh, in the last couple of days. Okay. Uh, but I think, uh, unfortunately, I think they didn't hit. Okay. So there's some good news was coming out of the, all these big companies, ataupun, uh, all these uh, uh, index uh, per se. Okay. So that didn't give any room for JPI to strengthen or there's no reason for JPI people to worry ataupun scared uh, and take out the uh, orang kata duit daripada pasaran to, to to move to JPY. So that's why uh, I think uh, S&P, Dow Jones all hit new high. So UJ also hitting new high. Bond yields also going new high. So everybody showing a new high, new achievement. Uh, but again, uh, you, you cannot sustain that uh, all the time. Uh, I think that's why 2022, uh, there is a prediction. First quarter or first couple of months, that might be a market might take correction. Some people predict 10%, some people predict 20% uh, correction. So we don't know how, it's, it all depends. The people who's holding the uh, big amount of cash or big amount of siapa yang kaya, who control the market, for example, JP Morgan, ataupun Bank of America, ataupun BlackRock, uh, ataupun siapa, Goldman Sachs, all those people, uh, they want to get out of the market, they want to orang kata, kill the retail traders, ataupun siapa yang tengah ni, then they can just quickly, because they know some people are still floating, let's say like, uh, on shorting some position, or anything. so ataupun uh, siapa yang masih tengah uh, long, they can quickly come out. Uh, if they come out, then uh, every market, not to say crash, but something similar to uh, market crash. Okay. Ataupun we call it in a politically correct way, uh, market correction. The 10%, 20%, which I'm saying is actually, uh, is a nicer word, 10%, 20%, but what it means is actually market crash, but in a smaller uh, quantum. Oh, okay. Okay, baik. Terima kasih, Encik Rashid. Fly to the moon, go. Okay, Tuan Fahan, bagi can sikit, ambil nafas. Actually, for go, personally lah, saya sebenarnya tunggu dia turun, then kita, uh, nak planning buy physical go. Tapi, dia selalu turun sekejap, then dah reject uh, very fast. But, uh, right, just go. keep, uh, ni, sebab, uh, Tapi rasa dah, US, <laughs> US, 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 US is going to increase interest rate. So if uh, Putin, uh, Vladimir Putin and uh, China, uh, Xi Jinping uh, not making any issue, gold can crash. <clears throat> also, so US dollar uh, 
probably make a this year uh, maybe make a first move instead of they waiting for other countries to increase the interest rate us might uh, do it first sebab uh, dia orang dah bagi hin tapering dia orang dah awalkan cepat sangat okey and dia dah bagi hin dia akan bagi tiga tapi dia cuma bagi tiga interest rate high but it might be four even kalau dia buat tiga there is a bond yield uh, siapa yang follow now is already uh, 1.4 1.5 becomes a support so market is predicting is going to 2% ataupun 2.5% if that happens gold akan juna so that's why uh, now where gold is it might be a resistance to to go down okay but it also depends what's happening on the bond yield and also interest rate so just dia macam sekarang ni dekat tengah-tengah dunia kalau yes. on a bigger time frame if you guys see 1820s dekat tengah-tengah between 2000 and about 1600 okay so uh, but uh, i'm more biased towards to go down okay but there is a room little room to go up to 1850 1855 punya zone uh, uh, possibility yes. sebab so, tiba nfp tak tak berapa bagus we will see it goes up to 1850 1855 punya zone then only uh, make a correction yes okay baik terima kasih cikgu rashid